Guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Chris with CNM Aquatics. We talk about pretty much anything that has to do relating to saltwater marine aquariums. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you like the video so that you're alerted to new videos that come out. And today, I was going to talk about TDS meters. I got a TDS meter for my RODI filtration unit. And what it does is it, it measures the total dissolved solids in your water. So it will tell you when you are when you need to replace your, your cartridges on your RODI filter. And different filters recommend different things. I've been replacing my filters every six months to 12 months. Um, but I don't know if I'm changing them too early or if I'm going too long. I go through a lot of RODI water with all the systems we got set up here. I'm using roughly 55 gallons every two or three days just for my top off water. So I'm using the filters a lot and, and going through a lot of RODI water. So I thought I would get a TDS meter to try to help me see when I gotta change my filters. Make sure I'm not changing them too soon so I'll save money that way or you know maybe I'm not changing them enough. So this will help me do that. And I'll put a link down in the description I know you can find this exact meter off of Amazon, so I'll put a link so you guys can find it if you want. And how these little meters work is you'll have a probe that attaches to your RODI filter for the water that comes into your filter, and it'll measure the total dissolved solids. Then you'll have a line, the blue line here, that measures the output. So you'll measure the water coming into your filter and then coming out to your filter. and it's got a little toggle switch here to switch between in and out. And as your filters in your RODI system get clogged up with gunk and get old, your total dissolved solids will increase in your output line. And there'll be a, a, a ratio to compare the two so you know when to replace your filters. So this is the first one I've ever put on, but I thought I would film it in case somebody else needs to do the same thing. And I don't think it'll be too bad. This meter is made by HM Digital. And it comes with the batteries, the probes, and the meter, and some sticky tape on the back. What it did not come with were these connections here that you need to splice it into your, to your RODI filter. So I ran up to the hardware store. There's an Ace right up the street for me, and I got these from there. And um, you should be able to find them at Lowe's, Home Depot, any any hardware store. But it should just splice right into your line. So the meter probe will go in to the bottom, and then your line. And we're going to splice this in on the filter part. So we will see how that goes, and. We'll test it out. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is take our T and we're going to put our probe into the bottom port on the T. And these T's are, they're the Shark Bite brand. They're just quarter inch Shark Bite T's. Like I said before, you can find them pretty much anywhere. Any hardware store that is. So when you're pressing in your probe, you want to press it in and make sure you feel it pop and press in securely and pull back on it. Make sure it doesn't come out because that's where you're probably going to have your best chance of a leak. You're going to do the same thing with the outline probe. Put it in the bottom port of the T. And it did say in the instructions not to touch the electrodes on the end of the probe that the oils in your skin might mess them up and make them be inaccurate. That's the first part, is getting our probes in. Then you gotta figure out where you wanna mount your, your TDS meter itself. And I'm just using the Velcro that came on it. I'm gonna stick it right to the concrete wall there. And if it doesn't stick later, I'll, I'll screw it to that two by four or come up with something else, but just quick and easy. I'm just gonna pop it on the wall here where it's easy to see.
So the first one we're going to do is our water coming into the RODI unit. So your water line coming into the filter, we're going to splice in the first T. And this stuff, this quarter inch tubing cuts pretty easy. I'm just using a pocket knife here. And with these slip fittings, there's no gluing or anything like that. They just slide right in. My RODI unit here is an, um, I think it's called an RODI buddy. And it uses the same type of slip fittings. So if you have a similar RODI filter, you're already familiar with these fittings. You just push them in until you feel a little pop. Make sure they're secure and pull back on it. And that's it. The next, the blue line is going to be the water coming out of your filter. So this is going to measure the water that's going to end up going into your aquariums. And make sure you leave enough tubing, like on your intake line, make sure you, you leave enough to where you can splice in the T here. And it's the same way. It just slips, just presses in. And there's little rings on the inside of the T there. If you need to pull it off for any reason, you can compress that ring and, and pull the T right back off, just like your water filter. So that was it. They're, they're very, very easy. And I think I installed this in maybe five minutes. So after you get all your T's in, turn on the, the unit slowly and check for leaks. Don't turn it on full blast right away just turn it on a little bit and, and slowly turn it up to full pressure and I'll show you here if you can see the numbers so that's my water coming in so it's reading about 110 111 and then my water coming out that I'm going to use in the aquariums is at zero parts per million that's exactly what I want and I recently have changed these filters in this system so they're maybe a month old if that that's pretty much it guys. I appreciate it. I hope this helps somebody if they're trying to install this. Until next time. Thanks a lot.